Hey guys, welcome back to Hash Include Electronics with another video. And in this video, we are going to make RC tractor using ESP32 module. We will use transmitter created using analog joystick and ESP32 board to send tractor control commands. Transmitter and receiver ESP32 modules will communicate using ESP Now protocol. We will control the steering using servo motor. So let's get started and make this tractor. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe button below and press bell icon to get latest updates. Let's first make the transmitter. We will need ESP32 module, analog joysticks, we need two pieces, 5 volt DC supply or any power bank, breadboard, double sided tape and few jumper wires. Let's make a connection as per circuit diagram for transmitter. Attach left and right joystick using double sided tape on breadboard. Mount ESP32 on breadboard. Connect left joystick to ESP32 module as per table. Now connect right joystick to ESP32 as per table. Provide 3.3V and ground to this breadboard power rail from ESP32 module. First we need to get the MAC address of receiver ESP32 module. We need to install ESP32 board using Arduino board manager. I have provided the ESP32 board link in the description below. Go to file, preferences and add the ESP32 board link. Then go to tools, then boards manager and search for ESP32 and install it. Now connect receiver ESP32 board to laptop and upload this get MAC address code. Select ESP32 Rover module and port. Hit upload. Once uploaded, open serial monitor and press enable button on ESP32 module. You can see that the MAC address is printed. Note this down because we will need it in the transmitter code. Let's take a look at transmitter code now. Inside transmitter code, first we need to include the ESP now and Wi-Fi library. Then we have defined pins for left and right joysticks. Then we have set the receiver MAC address as found in previous step. We have defined packet data structure to send the data. We have defined map and adjust joystick deadband values function which is used to map the values from 0 to 4095 to 0 to 254. Hence 127 is the center value to be sent. We have defined on data sent callback function which will be called when data is sent using ESP now protocol. Inside setup function, initialize the ESP now. Now register the callback function. Then we need to set up the receiver pair info and add it to ESP now. Inside loop function, read the left and right joysticks values. Now we will send the data through ESP now using ESP now send function. We will add some delay for data to be sent. I have provided the link to the code in the description below. You can upload it directly. Connect transmitter ESP32 module to laptop using USB cable. Select ESP32 Rover module and port. Hit upload. Now let's take a look at receiver. We will need tractor, we will also need ESP32 module, TT gear motors. Servo motor, we will use MG90 servo motor, L298 and motor driver module, 7 to 12 volt DC battery, in our case LiPo 2S battery, double sided tape and few jumper wires. Let's assemble the tractor now. Detach the wheels and other parts of tractor.
Let's solder wires to gear motors. Mount two motors on chassis using glue gun. Attach servo motor now. Connect servo motor to steering wheels. Now let's make a connection as per circuit diagram. Fix L2918 motor driver module on chassis using double sided tape. Connect right side motor to out 1 and out 2 pins of L2918 motor driver module. Now connect left side motor to out 3 and out 4 pins of motor driver module. Fix ESP32 module on chassis using double sided tape. Now connect L2918 motor driver module to ESP32 pins as per table. Attach DC battery power connectors to motor driver module to plus 12 volt pin and ground pin. We will take plus 5 volt and ground from L2918 motor driver module and provide to ESP32 module through 5 volt and ground pin. Connect servo motor to ESP32 and also provide battery power to it. Now attach wheels. Let's take a look at receiver code now. First we need to install ESP32 servo library for servo motor control. Go to tools and then manage library. Search for ESP32 servo and install it. Now we need to include the ESP now and Wi-Fi library. Also we need to include ESP32 servo library. We have created object for servo. We have assigned the right and left motor pins. We have set the PWM frequency resolution and channel for speed. We have set the signal timeout as 1 second. We have created packet data structure to store the received values. We have on data receive callback function which will be called when ESP32 receives data. Left joystick value is for throttle and right joystick value is for steering control. We will move the car forward or backward using rotate motor function and throttle value. Also we will steer the car using servo motor. We have created rotate motor function which takes right and left motor speed as arguments. It will rotate motor in forward or backward direction. We have created setup pin mode function to attach the servo pin. Set the motor pins as output. Also set the PWM channel for speed control. Initially stop all the motors. Also set the servo initial position to center. Inside setup function we will call setup pin mode function. Then init ESP now. It will set up on data receive callback function. 
Inside loop function, we will check if signal is timed out. If no data is received within one second, then we will stop all the motors. I have provided the link to the code in the description below. You can upload it directly. Now let's upload the code. Connect ASP32 module to laptop using USB cable. Select ASP32 rover module and port. Hit upload. Now connect battery to tractor. Provide power to transmitter through power bank using 5V supply. That's it. Let's see how it works. As you can see, tractor is controlled using joystick. We need to remember following points. We need to provide proper power supply to this car. Please use only rechargeable battery. Provide only 5 to 8 volts to the servo motor. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Stay safe and please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.